According to the authorities, at least six people on Tuesday after an accident in Johnson County and three other people were taken to hospital. Where did the accident occur? Texas Public Security Department spokesman William Lockridge. The authorities reportedly shortly after the accident. Lockridge said accident occurred in the western part of Johnson County between 1234 and 1120. District roads in U.S. Highway 67. Shortly after 1630. On a Facebook post. Johnson County Sheriff Office. Accident occurred near intersection of 1119 and District Road. And closing is probably a few hours. He added. On Wednesday. Authorities had not published all the identities of those who in accident. But released their age. Lockridge said that the inspectors to Dallas Morning News believed that everyone who was of South Asian origin. Authorities. Two vehicles a minibus and a van said the collision was involved. It is believed that all six people who are the inhabitants of minibus. A Honda Odyssey. 28-year-old Russell Bari driver from Irving. The names were not published and the authorities said they were working to find and inform their relatives. 2. Com. 1. Chevrolet Silverado of the truck truck was described by Texas DPS as 17 years old from Glenn. Rose and Luke Resecker in Preston Glass. Lockridge was previously believed to be the truck in his 20s. Both young people were taken to Fort Worth hospitals with 26-year-old Lokish Patabathula. Together with a minivan passenger. Lockridge said they moved by helicopter. What did it lead to the accident? Inspectors believe that the truck is in a non-passing area. According to Texas DPS. Minivan went to north of the U.S. Highway 67 when Pacap minibus lane traveling south. Lockridge hit the minivan head headed. If any. It was not clear which criminal charges would be filed in connection with the fatal accident. Destructive scene The air view of the accident provided by the news station was heavily damaged by a white turntable and a dark manana. In a comment on accident to the Facebook post, Johnson County Sheriff Office asked for prayers for relevant families. Pray our deputies. Soldiers and all other first intervention teams, pray for a destructive scene and very emotional. Everyone concerned.